Hey guys, what is going on? It is Epic Video Game Master here once again, and it's time for that video y'all been waiting for. It's the Nightwalker revamp video. Now, I know this revamp happened uh, a couple weeks ago, but uh, I've just been having some issues uh, with my internet and stuff, so whatever, let's just get right into it. So here I am making a Nightwalker, and I, I am in Barra, and uh, it's really awesome. I'm really enjoying this class. It's really flashy, um, very nice. I, I find the training is a little bit slow because uh, you can only attack one monster at a time and even in second job you can attack more than one monster but it's not with your full power and you'll see what I mean when I get there but uh, anyway I didn't really follow any skill builds I just kinda went with it so the first spot I came to was these fairies I really enjoyed these fairies they're, I, I don't know they're, I don't know if they're the fastest place but I just kinda went there these blue fairies but I like the regular fairies better than the blue fairies I thought it was a little faster even though the blue ones give more EXP. Um, yeah, I stayed here till level, I think, 20 or 18 or something like that. It was uh, pretty awesome. So anyway, uh, give you guys' thoughts in the comments and stuff about the Nightwalker revamp. I want to hear what you guys think about it. But um, So I'm going to go through first and second job. So um, I tried out Mr. Lee Airline, but apparently it got nerfed a lot. It got nerfed once, then it got nerfed again, so it's it's okay to train it, but it's not the best place anymore. So anyway, I came here at level 20 to 30, typical training spot, wasn't anything special, but um yeah, I'm actually I actually uh, kind of funded this character with Steelies. I went over and I uh, remember I was saying I bought a bunch of throwing stars before and I was gonna merch them, Ilbies, and I made a uh, quite a few mesos off of that, which was really nice. Uh, so here we are doing the second job advancement. Uh, I got to level 30 fairly quickly actually, it wasn't didn't take me that long, it was actually pretty awesome, pretty fun. So yeah, as you can see my damage is really high and that is because there was an event going on where you get these cash equips that give ridiculous stats and I don't know if it's still going on because this was like a couple weeks ago but yeah, so here we are, get into second job and uh, it's really awesome. So as you can see here, I'm putting it into triple throw, which is not really a triple throw. It's kind of like they throw two stars and then this weird blue thing. Um, and then I'm putting it into mastery, obviously. And as you can see here, the bat move kind of mo is your mobbing skill, I guess. Because when you attack, I, I don't understand fully how it works. I was trying to look into it, look it up and stuff. But from my understanding, after three moves, you'll summon a bat and the bat will go around and attack, as you can see in the top right there. So anyway, I came over to Pantheon here and came over the, to this map. This map is awesome. Like, I love this map. 30 to 45 or 47-ish. It's, it's a really nice map. I, I like training here. And uh, around 35, you could come here uh, to the Gold Beach. It's a really nice training place as well. Uh, I, like, I, like, um, I like it now because there's so many options you can train at. There's Gold Beach, there's that place, there's this place, that place. I, li I like how they really evened out the monsters. So as you can see here... Showing myself just doing, going through the quest line, you know, just having a jolly old time here, leveling up like a boss. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go, fight Mr. Octopus. Um, so Mr. Octopus did not take that long, he took about 25 seconds to take out there. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go ahead and level up. So at level 47, you want to do the Tots Know How. I believe it's the Gachapon one, the. There's the magnifying glass, no, the familiar one, and there was one other one. There was three Tots know-hows you can do. You can get right to level 50. I think it's the mount, the know-how, and the gachapon. And you go to a city and you use a gachapon ticket for the last one. And you get instantly level 47 to 50 for free. Plus you get equipment at level 50. At level 50, I came over to Easy Zakum. At Easy Zakum, you can come in twice a day by yourself. Well, how it works is you can have... One person can lead an expedition twice a day, so meaning your friend could, you could lead it twice a day, then your friend could lead it, and you can go in and he could leave twice, and then you're, uh, if you have that many friends, if your other friend wants, if your friends want to do that, if not, you can uh, stay here twice a day, you go almost basically a level every time you go in, and uh, so I'm going to show both runs here that I go through, and you get really nice meso drops, really nice, uh, you get a nice Zakum helmet, and it's really worth it, I, I think it's really nice EXP you go in twice a day it's basically like two free levels from 50 to 60 and 
yeah, so I actually stayed here right till 60 because a couple of my buddies helped me out. But uh, yeah, so I highly recommend Easy Zakum. And for those of you who do not want to go to Easy Zakum, you can go to the Rian Strait uh, theme dungeon. That's a really nice place to go to. You can go to Drake's, um, and you can go to several places. Uh, you can do Ludi PQ. Ludi PQ is really nice. Um, and yeah, so for those of you guys who are wondering how to make mesos, you can check out my meso video, how to make mesos. I'll link it in the description. No NX, no merching, and it's how to make a lot of mesos. So you want to make 20 mil an hour, you want to go ahead and check that out. Really awesome video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Epic Video Game Master. Goodbye, and uh, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully it was informative, and I'm saying hopefully a lot. So it better be hopeful. Bye.